Gamers, I just beat a plat guy yes. with five villager English rush. He said in diamond it doesn't work. Now, obviously it works in diamond because I've killed people in conquer with this. Let's find out. Maybe he knows something I don't. He should pick Rus. Well, I wouldn't do it against Rus, obviously, for obvious reasons, right? Like, I don't do villager rushes against Rus, Mongol, or uh, English, right? Because it doesn't make any sense. If he says that it doesn't work against those sieves, I agree because I don't work a rush those sieves. Uh, so technically, he's right. But he's picking HRE. And another rule is like, Let's say he picks HRE now, like he can't put six on gold immediately because he needs to play the game the normal way. And then if he scouts my villagers coming, he can do whatever he wants. He can put a tower, he can, you know, do whatever he wants. But the point is like blindly, you know, building a tower or whatever is not how the game would normally go. So it kind of doesn't make much sense to do so. But here we go. Like, if I arrive there and there's a tower, it's like, okay, well, yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't think anyone will play like that. But we're, we will see. We will see what he has planned for us. Let's find out why it doesn't work in Diamond. Yes, is this Yes. Oh my god, gold in the back. Okay, this is worst possible scenario. Gold in the back, surrounded by the nice little TC positioning. He put four on gold and inspired him. <laughs> okay. He might go here. He doesn't have enough gold to age up. Five workers. Killing a prelate? I would say that's not really uh, successfully defended. <clears throat> so now he will get the age up, but he has no prelate. So, and he has no gold for a prelate. Even though he can age up. Let's see how he's gonna transition out of this since uh, I'm not quite sure what you do in this situation. Okay, he's making a barracks. Okay. If this was, by the way, if the gold was here or here, okay, he's gathering <laughs> long distance gold. If his gold was here or here, he wouldn't be able to get 100 gold even because the time distance is like 30 extra seconds or something, 20, 30. But for me, this is successful. Again, uh, I, I don't know what he considers defending, but uh, losing a prelate, I think, is definitely not defended in this case. Chapel that doesn't cover much because if he puts it here, I can just kill it with villagers. And I can't. 
One sheep is <laughs> so far away. He might have gotten, but I haven't seen 16 villagers. I have 19. He has 300 wood, maybe. Or maybe he's collecting gold there, actually. This is risky business. I mean, I could just put it at home, but it's going to be more fun this way, I think. Yaru? His economy is in shame. Oh yeah, he lost the scout too, by the way, so he has no sheep. Yes, sir. Forgot about that. Maybe I should drop off a couple of sheep. I think he does have gold here. Or uh, villagers and gold there. But he can't rush castle either way, so it's kind of irrelevant. He doesn't have food to rush castle. So I'm expecting maybe even a tower there. No tower, he's just collecting gold. You know the meme, this is fine. That's what's happening right now, this is fine. As he's on fire, burning up. That's copium. I got to him. If you play normal, guys, listen to this. I'm gonna tell you something. This is the same thing in StarCraft, and this is the funniest thing. This happened in StarCraft 2. When I beat someone with cheese, they say, yeah, but if you play normal, if you cannot defeat five villagers, how are you going to beat me in a normal game? What is the logic behind it? 
You cannot beat five villagers. I attacked you with five villagers and you fell apart. Why do you think you can beat me if I make an army and attack you? There's no way. <laughs> do I give him a rematch? I'm gonna go AFK for a minute, but I'm not gonna tell him. He's probably listening. Well, if he's listening, he's cheating. So then I just leave the game. <clears throat> Is this BM? No, I'm just trying to make the game somewhat even. So if he doesn't know, you know, he might be like, oh my god, this is kind of close. Oh my god, we hit feudal. Oh my god, I'm faster feudal than beastie puggers. All right, let's go. Mm. Ilalu. All right, so one minute AFK. This is his chance, baby. This is his Ilalu moment right here. One minute start pod. Okay, he should be starting his age up in a bit. I want to be bullied by Beastie as well. Yeah, this is kind of growing into some kind of fetish or something. Yeah, I don't know about that, guys. You gotta calm down in the chat. I know there's gonna be that one guy. If I was playing, I'm diamond. I would never lose with a minute advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you're diamond. Because you would never lose. Right. But, but people only beat me because they're cheesing me. Stop. Get some help. Okay, his age up is on the way. Wait, is that a second scout or is that a first scout? No, Was there a second scout here just now? Or oh, maybe he rotated. Ilalu. You guys are funny. Okay, barracks. So I know already what he's gonna do. Ah, he's just doing longbow, whatever, man at arm. Oh, 
So now, even though I was AFK one minute, if I just defend now, be good. Just defend forehead. Just need to check if he's going for any kind of uh, like TPC or is he just attacking or what is he doing? The scouter went around already, so I don't think he knows about this. So he's there right now. Oh my god. I wanted to start an upgrade and I can't see my building. Okay, what do we got? Is he going all the way around? Hmm, he might be on the bottom actually. The wolf is eating his ass. Okay, he's rushing castle now. Actually, I'm gonna go on the big gold. He is, I don't think he's high rated enough to properly. I mean, Diamond is not very high rated, so he's not gonna be scouting the, the gold. So I'm gonna just make the gold here instead. He's almost mining up the castle. 
Now we're gonna do Mass Musafari Warriors. As you do. I can actually go Imperial as well. 
I'm just gonna be Imperial. And then mask the Safati and just go kill the Safati warrior. I like that plan actually. Okay, you guys ready for this? He's gonna hear the Imperial is gonna the fuck. <laughs> Though. I, I can probably kill him with these, but... We need more Musifatis. We need uh, this upgrade as well. Okay, are you boys ready? We're gonna start printing in a moment. Oh, I need these upgrades still. Uh, to get another blacksmith so we can pump up the upgrades. Oh shit! Oh 
Let's go. Let's not forget, I started a minute at AFK. Replay first minute. Let me know what you think about my strat. Don't tell him. I mean, he'd, he'd find out anyway. Like, people would almost sabe him till the end of the days. Listen, guys, snowflakes in the chat. If you're serious about, oh my god, he's bullying him. I didn't make him play, all right? I asked him if he wants to play. He said yes. I clapped them cheeks, and that's what I'm here for, all right? That's it. Now, I hope you guys can understand why I was laughing when people say, oh, if it wasn't a cheese, it'd be closer. Like, defending cheese is the easiest thing, guys, you can do. I know it might seem hard, right? But playing like a like like a five minute game and controlling five units is a lot easier than, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minute game. Did you check the replay? Yeah. He says he's okay. We checked his vitals, the medical team was on standby, they were right next to him as he was playing, he's alright, he's all good, you don't have to worry about him. Uh, we checked him emotionally, physically, all different tests were done, we did blood tests, urine tests, he's clear, alright? And he says in the chat, it was an honor, thanks bro. Thank you for playing and thank you for being a good sport. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.